In this video, we're gonna use Iris Duos and Pi Duos to make a beautiful, comfortable design that actually looks harder than it really is. So check out the material description below, gather your materials, and we'll get started. To begin this bracelet, we're gonna start with our two millimeter crystals, our Iris Duos, and our 15-0 seed beads. We're gonna start with a good length of thread, whatever is comfortable for you to work with and have a stop bead at the one side. We don't need to leave a lot of room after that stop bead, so just a few inches will be fine. I'm going to pick up my initial string of beads, and that is going to be two iris duos, one of my crystals, my two millimeter crystals, another two iris duos, and another two, millim two millimeter crystal. I want to make sure that I'm picking up my iris duos through the same hole, so through that bottom hole, and I wanna make sure that the tops, the curved sides here, are all facing up. So the iris do, if you haven't worked with it before, has a topped curved side and has a flat side. And you can see the flat side here usually looks shinier on camera because it's not curved. So you can see here I have my curved side and you just wanna make sure that your beads are all lined up and all with the tops facing up, facing you. So now once you have those six beads on your thread, we're going to take our needle and thread and we're gonna pass through the first two iris duos. We're gonna completely ignore that little stop bead there just give our thread a little tug, and that should just make everything nice and tight, and it'll probably pull your stop bead closer to your project. We're gonna go through all these beads again to reinforce the thread and make the thread that runs through those beads uh, thicker, and just to pull everything closer together. So I'm going through those iris duos crystals and the iris duos again. Making sure to keep that, that little stop bead there just out of the way. And now we're gonna, our last little pass here is gonna be through the two millimeter crystal. And so once I've gone through that two millimeter crystal, I'm in, I'm in position here to then begin adding another section just like this one. So to make the little link to make the connection here, I'm gonna pick up one 15 -0, one of my two millimeter crystals and another 15 -0. And I'm gonna go through the crystal again the crystal where my thread was coming out. So through that crystal again. And as I do that, and I pull, the new crystal will be sitting directly next to the crystal that's part of my first little X section here. I wanna also reinforce this. So I'm going through that 15-0, through the crystal, through the 15 -0, and through the crystal again. And now to get to the end of my project here, the end of where I'm working, I need to keep going through uh, the next 15 -0, and through the next crystal. So now this crystal here, at the very end where my thread is coming out, will be the first crystal in the next little X section. So to complete this next X section, I'm gonna pick up again two iris duos, making sure that I pick them up so that they are situated the same way as the previous section. I'm picking up a crystal and again another two of my iris duos. Thank you. 
And once you have these all on, it's always good to take, uh, just take a minute, just make sure you've got everything on the correct way and the tops are all facing up. And we're gonna go through the crystal here. That was the first crystal in this new section or this new little component or section, however you wanna think about it. And so you can see here now I have two identical little X sections. And my 15 O's so far are only in the very center here between the two sections. I'm going to, like I did before, uh, just reinforce, reinforce this section. So just go through these beads again to make sure everything is pulled nice and tight. You always get it tighter when you go through a second time. And then I will continue on to adding the next section, just in the same way that I added this one. So I have this now reinforced. I'm going to go down through that crystal there at the very end of my project. And I'm going to continue again here by again picking up that 15O, a crystal, and a 15O. I'm gonna continue like I did previously I'll reinforce this, and then I will continue by adding um, little X sections here with my iris duos until I get to the end, um, to the full length of the bracelet that I want. And then I'll continue on and continue adding some more embellishment until I'm done. I've now made the length of the bracelet using the same technique over and over again, adding my X sections. So now I'm going to embellish the X sections along the edge and widen out the bracelet a little bit using my Pi Duos. And my Pi Duos are actually going to fill in that little empty space there created by the V in the Iris Duos. And the Pi Duo is going to fit perfectly in there. So I'm going to pick up the Pi Duos every time I use them. I'm going to pick them up through the hole in one of the flat sides just like a little slice of pizza. The curved side up here is like the crust, and I'm going to not pick it up through that crust, I'm gonna pick it up through one of the sides where it would have been cut. So here I have my thread coming out of one of my crystals here at the end. Now depending on which section you ended on, you may have your bracelet oriented like I have it here, with the domed side facing up, or you may have your bracelet kind of oriented with the flat side facing you, so you might have your thread coming out the top of your crystal here. Um, either way is fine for this step. It's not going to matter if you work on the front or the back. Coming out of the top of the crystal, we're going to pick up three of our 15 OC beads and go through the top hole, that unused hole in the Iris Duo at the top. And now I'm in position here to add my first Pi Duo. I'm going to, as I said, go through the flat side, go through the hole in the flat side of that Iris Duo and let that Iris Duo fall down. And it's going to sit perfectly in that little empty space there. So now my thread is coming out on the top where I have that uh, nice curved side. I'm gonna start using my 11 O's now and pick up three of those 11 O's. Let that fall down to my Pi Duo. And then the Pi Duo here on the curved side is going to have two holes. And I'm gonna go down through that second hole of the Pi Duo And when I pull my needle and thread through, those three seed beads will sit on top of the curved edge of the Pi Duo. I'm going to go down through or pass through the second, through the hole in the second Iris Duo here, 
the second in that pair that is making that little V. So I can see here I went through the iris duo, through my pi duo, picked up my seed beads, down through the pi duo, and then through the open hole of the next iris duo. Now at this point, I'm going to pick up a couple of my 11 o sorry, my 15 o seed beads. You want those 15 o seed beads. Pick those up. I'm going to pass through the 15 o right below here. So the 15 o that is um, that was creating that little bridge between the the two crystals when I begin a new section. So I'm going to pass through the 15 o on the side where I'm working. So you'll notice that in each little center here, each little uh, set of crystals, I have a seed bead here on top and I have a seed bead here on bottom. So while I'm working on the top, I'm going to go through that top seed bead and when I'm working on the bottom, I'm going to go through the bottom seed bead. Pass through that 15 0 seed bead. And now I'm going to take my needle and thread and I'm going to go back up through both of those seed beads again. So I'm just going back up through those same two seed beads. Pull your thread tight. And now move on to the next little X section. So I'm going down, I'm working down my bracelet here, going through the open hole of the next iris duo. And now I'm in position here to continue on adding my pi duos. And I'm going to continue adding those pi duos and the 15 O's, that's those two 15 O's in between all of my sections here until I get to the end. Once I get to the end, I'm going to take my thread needle and uh, pass through my beads to the next side, to this bottom section, and just repeat the same steps. You can see here that I have completed one side of my pie duos, one side of the bracelet with the pie duos, and now I'm at the end, so I'm gonna move up to continue with the pie duos on the other side here. All I'm gonna do to do that to get my thread over to the other side is coming out of that last iris duo, pick up three of my 15 O's, and then I have my stop bead over here, so I'm just gonna ignore that stop bead, pass through the crystal, pick up another three of my 15 O's, and pass through the top hole here, the open hole of the iris duo. And now we're in position here to begin with the same steps that we repeated on the, that we did on the other side here. So once we have those pie duos all along the top here, we'll talk about connecting this and um, putting on those final touches. I've now completely added all of my pie duo beads. Uh, so I put those guys away for now. I'm not gonna need them anymore in this project. The last thing I'm going to need to pull out is my four millimeter pearls. So if you don't have those out already, we're gonna to need to grab those now. My thread is coming out of this last iris duo after adding that last pi duo. And I'm gonna need just three more of my 15 O's. I'm gonna pass through the crystal at the very end here and continue on through the next three iris, or next three 15 O's, through the iris duo, through the pi duo, just following that same thread path as when I added the pi duo, and through the top three 11 O seed beads. So now I have my thread in position to add a four millimeter pearl in between all of those pie duos. 
And that is going to be the edge of my project and just give that a little bit of that finishing touch to tie everything together and keep it nice and cohesive. So once I am in position here, coming out of those three 11 O's, I'm going to pick up one 11 O, one of my pearls and another 11 O. I'm going to pass I'm going to move forward here and go through the next set of three beads on top of the next Pi Duo. And I'm going to continue doing this until I get to the end of my bracelet. Just spanning the gap here between Pi Duos with my, with my seed bead, pearl, seed bead. And once I continue this all the way down to the end, I will come through my Pi Duo, my Iris Duo, Seed Beads, Crystal, Seed Beads, my Pi Duo, or my Iris Duo, my Pi Duo, just like I did at the beginning of this clip here. And I'll continue on and add the same, the same Mayuki Seed Bead, pearl and seed bead just to span the gaps on this side. After adding the pearls to one whole side of my bracelet, one whole edge here, I'm going to go ahead and uh, move on to the next side and add the pearls there. But if you're interested in adding the clasp at this point, this is a perfect place to add the clasp. I have my thread and needle coming out of my iris duo here at the end. And what I'm going to do is just pass through a couple of those 15 O's and pick up a couple seed beads, a couple of my 11 O's. I'm going to add a cup button, but you can add a different clasp as well um, and use a pretty similar technique to what I'm doing here. So after I have those two 11 O seed beads on, I'm going to pass through one hole of that, of that cup button. And I'm going to rethread my needle. <laughs> so that does occasionally happen here. Just like in real life, sometimes my thread comes off my needle. Um, so fortunately, that was a real easy, real easy thread to get back on. So now that I've got my thread and my needle back together, I have my thread coming out the top here of my cup button. I'm going to just pick up a seed bead a pearl and a seed bead to add a little embellishment in there inside the cup button. I'm going to go down through the other side of the cup button and pull that thread through. I'm going to pick up another two of my 11 of seed beads and I'm going to go through, I'm going to go past the crystal here in the center, and I'm going to go through the next 15 O, starting with the 15 O, and go and kind of backtrack and then go through that crystal. So I'm going through the 15 O right before the crystal and the crystal itself. And then I'm going to go up through the 15 out here on the other side. And now I'm in position where I can reinforce the beads that I use to attach my cup button. So I'm going through the 11 O's beneath the cup button and through all those beads that I have sitting inside the cup button here. It's going to be really hard to go through all of them at once, so just go through one or two at a time. And pass down through the cup button again, through those two seed beads at the base. And now if you want to, you can reinforce this again in the same way. Um, I feel pretty secure with it the way that it is. So at this point, I'm going to continue 
up the side of my iris duo here through those two seed beads, those two 15 O's, and then to get back into position to continue on the edge of the bracelet here where I still need to add my pearls. I'm gonna pass through my iris duo, up through the pie duo, and once I'm through the pie duo, my seed beads here at the top, and any little threads that you have in the way, just push those out of the way, and we'll tie that all off at the end. So now I'm in position to continue here embellishing the edge and adding those, adding those little pearls in. After adding the pearls to the other edge of my bracelet, I'm now ready to add the other side of my clasp. Since I used a cuff button, all I'm gonna need to add is a loop of seed beads to hook around the cuff button. Of course, if you're using a different clasp, you'll be adding whichever clasp end you need um, to complement the other side of the clasp that you already added. I'm gonna add this loop in the same way that I added the cuff button. So I'm coming through the same beads and I'm coming out of those same beads here. So the two 15 O's here on this end I'm coming out between the second and the third seed bead here, and I picked up a line of seed beads here, a string of seed beads, about an inch and a half long. Um, you can use any kind of seed beads here, any kind of pattern. I just picked up my 11 O's and my 15 O's and a little bit of a pattern to give it just a little bit more interest. Once you have a loop that you've tested around your button and you know that it will fit around your button, we're gonna again attach this loop in the same way that we attached the cup button on the other side. I'm going to skip over this center, this center crystal here, and I'm gonna go through the 15 0 right above it. And I'm gonna go through the crystal itself. I got a little bend in my needle, so if you get a little bend in your needle, sometimes it doesn't go through quite as smoothly. Up through the 15 0 on the other side. And then this will put me in position to reinforce the seed beads in my loop. I'll do this um, once, maybe a second other time. Tie this thread off. Uh, locate all the other thread ends in my piece that I want to tie off, weave those in, burn them down, uh, whichever technique you prefer, and then my bracelet will be complete. Okay, so here I am now at the very end here, and I'll just take my thread and needle through those last two seed beads and this will be a great place for me to tie that off and to probably get to bury that little thread end in that iris duo. Simple little overhand knot here. And if you're unsure of how to tie off thread, or use a thread burner, or if you're interested in other techniques to burn down and finish the edges, or how to tie off your thread. We have other videos, we have better beaters, um, lots of other tutorials to teach you those techniques. Um, so hope you enjoyed making this lovely bracelet. If you enjoyed this video, please comment below and let us know your thoughts. You can also subscribe to our channel to be notified as soon as we have more beading tutorials out that you'll enjoy probably just as much as you enjoyed this one.